it's hard to find. However, I have a hunch where it might still exist. I'm headed to a place the Spanish call the Isla de Fuego, the island of fire. Sikihor. This place has been known for witchcraft and all kinds of mysticism long before the Europeans arrived. I have one principal mission, but there's all kinds of goodies to find. Let's see what we can get into. Like the dolphins, my mind splashes out into the air of present moment awareness and then back down into the depths of thought. People have warned me about dangerous characters on the island of Sikihor, witches and sorcerers. Should I be concerned? Nah. On arrival, it seems like typical friendly island vibes. I grab a much more humble set of wheels and I set out to explore. Ooh, I'm hoping to find in this home is a helot or a healer. This island is known, has always been known for sorcery, witchcraft mystical arts and what I'm hoping this guy will have is the original Mexican strain of cacao criollo which the Spanish of course brought over it's hard to find this original strain in the Philippines I guess maybe with commodification commercialization more dominant easier to grow things come in but I figure if it's anywhere, it's here because these guys who dabble in mysticism are sticklers about pure ingredients in their potions. So let's see if this dude is here and if he has it. Hello, sir. Do you have no cacao? Cacao? Okay, so the old healer doesn't have what I want. But now that I've got his attention, I would be a fool to not see him perform his craft. Thanks for showing up. So he doesn't have any cacao? Yeah, he's not using cacao. Uh-huh. He just used another kind of plants. Uh-huh. For healing of the body? Yes, healing of the body. All right, let's see. I think of something he could work on. It's a long shot, but what the heck. Yeah, I, I had some kind of an injury to my elbow. Turns out this guy has a technique and a special elixir for that. If these hands could tell stories. 92 years old and he's been doing this since he was a child. You can see how the life a person leads really leaves its signature on their body, right? No cacao here, but this is a great start. I've been dealing with this uh, problematic elbow for the last couple of years, so I'll try anything that might help a little bit. Plus, it's just cool connecting with this guy in this way. And, and now I'm starting to get into the network, I'm sure. He's been here his whole life. He's connected to all the other people in some way. So one thing will lead to another. And if that cacao is on this island, I will find it. The helot ends the massage with puffs of air, a mystical technique to blow out malaise. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. It feels better. <laughs> I jump back on the bike and resume my search for cacao. But the sun sets on my ambitions. Early in the morning, I drive to the beach where fishermen are shelling sea urchins. One of these guys also dabbles in the mystical arts. So I drop in on him later. All right. This is Carino's place, the uh, guy collecting the urchins, who's also some sort of a, a healer. And look, it's cacao. Maybe he has this Criollo strain, which I, which I seek. Let's find out. It turns out this guy's beans are not Criollo, 
the original cacao strain. But I'm hot on the trail now. And this dude is fascinating. He's got all kinds of potions, a whole book of spells for different purposes, a bulletproof jacket, and a magical orb. This divination stone was given to him by a copre, which is kind of like a, an ogre that lives in the tree and smokes cigars. My attention has now shifted from my janky elbow to my stomach. After multiple eating adventures in India and Thailand with no problems, the Philippines finally got me, and it got me good. The positive news is that he has a spell for that. You see religious words in the oraciones. There's a cross in the bottle. He drew a cross on my chest. You would think that when Christianity came to the islands, it would have expelled all the witchcraft, but the version of Christianity that came over at this time from Spain was actually quite tolerant of mysticism. A lot of religions at their, at their core were mystic. What I mean by mystic is there was a direct line that an individual could make to the divine. And only later, as power structures like states, governments began to absorb the religions, did things get formalized. No, no, no. You can't directly connect to the divine. You've got to go to our boy, who then has his boy, and there's a, there's a chain of command. And so the mystics got pushed out or killed quite often. But it's still alive here in Sikihor. How about that? The healer ultimately didn't have the cacao, but he encourages me to go up to the center of the island. There, he says, I'll find people who actually source their magical ingredients from the island's forest. And so I go.